Ooh, what's up everybody? Welcome to the stream. Ragnarok here with part three of our Mongol Total War Attila 1212 Medieval Kingdoms mod campaign. Something like that. A bit of a mouthful. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back into this. I apologize for missing the last couple days, guys. I've just been like... I don't know, I was just feeling so anxious lately, um, you know, partly because of the uh, and the fact that I'm moving soon, but a big part of it is just these perpetual lockdowns here in southern Ontario are really, really starting to weigh heavily on me, especially, you know, um, as I'm, you know, not working as much as I'd like, and I'm not, yeah, I, I don't know, I mean, there, there's all, all kinds of layers uh, to it, but it just... Yeah, it really, um, it really is not good for your mental state. Um, yeah, and then the fact that I'm, I have to move next month uh, in the midst of all this uh, shenanigans here in southern Ontario is, you know, adding to that. And so I just felt like maybe take a couple days away from the channel and uh, just try and uh, regain my focus and, and not worry so much about all that stuff, but... Yeah, anyway, yeah, sorry to bring it up, but uh, if you're wondering where I've been, that's, uh, <laughs> that's essentially where, you know, what's sort of been going on with me. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna get back into the campaign here. There's something I did want to note. Um, so, one of the, uh, someone left a comment on the previous stream here, if I can find it. Uh, so, uh, Yossi Usuk, uh, says, uh, he was playing the Mongol faction, had many vassals, and suddenly on his next turn, he went from being a horde to a settled faction. Uh, it said that a settlement was successfully annexed to his faction. Uh, it really ruined his game, and he had no intention of settling. Um, so he's asking if I, I know where he went wrong. So... I don't think he did anything wrong necessarily. I think they've added in Before the you say anything, diplomacy. Know that I have an amulet against the evil eye. Um, Dark sorcery will gain. I think there's an option to. I am here then. Annex vassal. Click this button to annex the selected faction. If grayed out, select a faction that uses not your vassal, or has not yet been 20 turns since they have been vassalized. So, yeah, they've added trading regions, and you can annex your vassals completely in this. But the other thing is, um, what it sounds like what happened in his campaign was, um, it sounds like there was a random message that that passed up a, an event where he was given or gifted sort of a, a, a settlement from one of his vassals so we'll keep an eye out for that to see if it happens to us which yeah it, previously in the campaign i had accidentally settled a settlement which basically it reset all of our hordes back to level one and we've been rebuilding them since so yeah you know taking a settlement essentially ends your your stint as being a horde and would kind of ruin your campaign i mean you could try and recover and play as you know a traditional faction but yeah I, I don't know we'll keep an eye out for that um see if it happens but yeah i believe that's probably what happened is probably there was an event message that popped up that gave him a region and that occupying any region uh you lose your horde status essentially so, yeah, uh, anyway, where where the hell were we? So we're kind of kind of thinking we'll just have some fun with this. Uh, and there's no, I, I don't really have any sort of overall goal here for this campaign. We've got a couple vassals here. And we'll see if we can keep them as vassals. We're at war with the other Mongols. And what I was saying last time is why don't we come... We'll head for Constantinople, which should be over here somewhere. And then maybe we'll head to head to Rome after that. And make that sort of the campaign goal. I was also wondering, I'm curious as well, if so 
the Abudad uh, Sultanate here. This is their capital, I guess. Or it looks like that's their capital. I'm just wondering if... Yeah, it is their capital. So if we capture their capital, do we get the option to annex them? Is that how it works? Because I, I'm thinking that's maybe what happened here. Because I wasn't Ready expecting to annex this faction so soon. Do they have... Though it looks like, actually, it looks like that was their last settlement. So I'm not sure if you have to sort of take all of their settlements but one, or if you can take their settlement, their uh, their uh, their capital, and um, vassalize them in that way. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's get to work. We've only got a few more turns left of our invasion for six more turns. Yeah, which is gonna gonna cross cause problems of its own, but we'll deal with that when it happens. As these armies are not gonna be cheap. I think each one of these units is like 400, 500. <laughs> uh, Jacob Hoppa says, uh, kick some ass and get a lot of vassals so they give you a lot of money. Yeah, definitely. I think that's <laughs> that's kind of the plan. Sort of. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't have any any overall campaign goal for this. I just wanted to come in and have some have some fun, try out the Mongols for a bit, and see how things go. But um, yeah, I don't know. I I just I'm really not enjoying playing as a horde. Like it, it's I don't know. It's almost like playing the campaign blindfolded in a certain way because you can only see where your armies are but i mean once you start vassalizing territories then i guess you get you get vision over their cities and whatnot but it just it puts you at a huge disadvantage to the other factions because i mean you're taking settlements yeah just don't really see the, the value necessarily in in playing the hordes yeah, we might as well come up this way. Move this army already. We're moving that way. Is there nothing else? Let's get an idea what's going on down here. Yeah, so we'll probably smash some of these cities along the way. And we'll just stay. Hmm. Ready for orders. Hmm. I was gonna say we'll just stay within our own. Yeah. Within our vassal's territory, since. <laughs> Yeah, uh, since we get a little bit more replenishment here, uh, we could also we've also got the option to uh, raise troops from uh, local levies. But I think that's okay. Ammunition forty. Ammunition forty-five. What's the ammunition on these guys? Oh, okay, it's the same forty-five. Rain missile block chance. Uh, Kalula says, well, whoa, 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 hello, uh, too long. I did meet Anisius, though, funny guy. Yeah, no, Anisius is pretty cool, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, how are you doing, Clueless? How's, uh, Ready for battle. how's your collarbone healing? I am the hope, uh, hope it's not, uh, giving you too much, too much trouble. That hasn't been too painful for you. No, probably sleeping's probably the the toughest. <laughs> Blue says, first guy here, let's go. Definitely, let's yeah, get some work done here. Yeah, I I don't know. I'm gonna stick to the five part format for the series. And um yeah, and then we'll probably start something new next week. Because I I don't know, I mean Build there. What we're gonna build in these settlements? For battle. 
Yeah. Yeah, it has been too long. I forget what the hell I was doing here in this uh, freaking campaign. Might as well just come in behind there. But yeah, we'll probably, probably get some Warhammer going soon again, too. Let's uh, build another farm, I guess, there. Ready for battle. And... I want to do the woodworkers. Give us a little bit more wealth and give us access to the ballista and the catapult. Which guy is our... Uh, we should actually put that in. Make sure we build it in his army. He's down here. We'll wait till he's got enough growth. He'll be able to build it next turn. It's a little bit expensive, so that I don't want to build it in too many armies or too many words. Um, what was I gonna build next? Uh, KJ says Rome remastered tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, all. Yeah, that's right. Uh, comes out tomorrow. That's uh, yeah. I, I'm sure everybody's pretty excited for that. I uh, maybe should have played that today. Now that I think about it, but I don't know. I missed the stream yesterday, and uh, I just figured. We'll get back to this. Keep going with this a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, right, we're gonna go with the Storyteller's Hut, or the Storyteller's Yurt, rather. I wanna get the, the research rate going if we can. For the tribe. I mean, it's only 4%, but 4% is better than, better than nothing. I'll go with it there too. All right, good enough. Oh yeah. Yeah, KJ, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I almost feel like I've been thinking about this a lot because I don't know if I get around to it. I'm planning to make a video Take on. This subsidy. Our treasuries will uh, overflow. Should we take peace from these guys? Strength ranking one. Uh, doing well, how am I? Uh, I'm not bad, I'm not bad. Uh, no complaints. I uh, just, I don't know. I just been honestly feeling a bit anxious. I was saying earlier, um, just feeling anxious uh, lately because of, because of all the lockdowns and everything here in Toronto and the fact that I have to move next month. All of that s sort of stuff is... Um, sort of been weighing on me a little bit it's just been i don't know very distracting to say the least but yeah what i was going to say is uh, i've been thinking about doing um a video on uh the warriors of chaos and what kind of things we'd like to see or what, what we might be able to expect as new horde mechanics in in uh, Warhammer 3. So I've been thinking about this a lot. Attitude plus 60 with Gen Z. Uh, due to continue bond between our two peoples. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so I, I've just been thinking about the Horde in general. And it almost, like, the way that the game is structured. Like, you really need to be able to occupy settlements. Like, the... I feel like... Almost, you know, if they added something similar to, like, the way that the Wood Elves can occupy settlements, but they can only build one building in, in the settlements, I feel like would be good for the Hordes. Like, keep the Hordes sort of as they are, be able to build within them, but you should be able to occupy the settlements and, you know, turn the settlements into, like, a trading depot or maybe, like, you know, just pastures or something. Just, I don't know, that... Or, or maybe like a garrison building or something like because honestly like without having vision you know i mean look at what happened over here so we raised all of this territory and it's been all rune dwelled by the the ai um now, i mean you can kind of get around that by having a lot of vassals but still it's you know the vassals control the territory you don't really control the territory just i don't know i i just i feel like the the horde mechanic just really needs a complete and total overhaul um, but i mean we've been talking about this for a while uh, jacob papa says more money just try them um oh yeah for the uh 
the peace agreement. I just figured um, oh, we're going to be smashing some of their cities here. I don't want to. I didn't want to take the peace agreement and then betray them right away. Kind of hoping to, um, yeah, because I probably would have declared war on them right away. Because um, I mean, that, I guess we didn't have to. Yeah, I'm wondering if we should send an army to Cairo, or maybe two armies to Cairo. And sec, maybe we should come down to Cairo first. And I want to test the theory of taking their capital will allow us to vassalize them. I think that's probably where I'm going to send these two armies. But in the meantime, it's going to send an army here. Uh, KJ says something chaos will be semi settled in Warhammer 3. See, it hasn't come up with a good horde mechanic yet. I'm not optimistic. Yeah, that's, you know, I, I mean, well met. I, I feel like if, me? like, for them to be able to compete with the other races in the game and in general, like, I, I really, really think that something along those lines has to be done, that they need to be able to, to settle. Uh, settlements or something because it's just you're at such a disadvantage playing as a horde you actually no go battle movement speed be really useful with these um these horse archers Thirsty for battle. yeah I guess we'll come up here get this Okay. For the tribe. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I, I'm not overly optimistic either, but we'll see what happens. Ah, shit. We don't have siege equipment. We have to wait a turn before we can siege it out. Come around this way. And you can hit that settlement. Doesn't look like there's any armies through here. Same thing here. Besieging settlement. Yeah, we need more siege equipment. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose our horde status. Reverse, or not our horde status, but um, we're gonna lose our Mongol invasion status very, very soon, which is gonna be extremely expensive. We have to disband some of these armies. Should have maybe gotten a bit more aggressive. around this way yeah I think I think we'll still come down to Cairo but even well come by sea as well potentially Love and glory. get them where they're not expecting it Ready for battle. already moved Ready for orders. so I definitely want to get on this built for this army Let's go with that ready for orders status of these guys so... how long does this take to build four turns for the tribe yeah we're gonna have to reorganize the armies a bit after um Attack! Warriors all. after our upkeep I goes up it's hoping to get our income up more more than this well, as well and we trade in finance oh shit we could Uh, integrity must tend. I was gonna say, what are the negative effects of um, of the taxes? And hordes, wow, hordes can't trade, which is crazy because I don't know the Mongols. I don't know the Mo like trade was a big part of how how the Mongol Empire uh, made money, profit this turn. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for. I want to see how much money we're making from our vassals right now. Diplomacy tribute? 
Tribute zero? Doesn't it look like... Okay, there it is, Vassals. Yeah, I guess Tribute is when we demand money from them. So we're making 760 from our Vassals. Which is, uh... Doesn't seem like a lot at all. How can I assist you? We don't have... I don't have a ton of vassals at the moment. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I, I really don't like how you can't see, you know, the map. I don't like how, you know, settlements that you raise, they end up being resettled. Because, I mean, for example, if you're playing as the Warriors of Chaos in... In Warhammer right now, like there, there's no way that you would be able to get full map completion. Um, I mean, obviously you're not settling the settlements, so you could never get full map completion. But what I mean is, you wouldn't be able to ever raise all of the settlements and eliminate all of the other factions from the game. Um, it, it just wouldn't be possible because you you just would never be able to afford enough armies to raise the settlements before the AI just ends up reoccupying them. It would just be like an endless game of whack-a-mole. And I mean, to me, that's, I don't know. There is much merit in a treaty between us. Ah, <sighs> yeah, sure, why not? All right, good. I think we could probably just auto resolve these battles. Mm. We probably shouldn't. I mean, those odds. I mean, we're not gonna lose any units. Ah, fuck it. We'll fight it. Should only take a minute. I mean, by a minute, I mean ten minutes. <laughs> Maybe fifteen. I don't know. See how she goes. But yeah, we're, we're 20 minutes into the stream. We haven't had a battle yet. But I, I don't know. I've been finding these sieges kind of boring. To be perfectly honest. And I don't know. The Mongol armies are not exactly well suited for sieging. Just got to be careful of their range units here. I think we'll... Continue with the same strategy that we've been using. It's been working pretty well. Just position on one side of the map and then try and sneak in the back door on the opposite side. Go for the town center and start the timer and uh, win the battle that way. All right. Uh, I think there's a gate over here. Yeah, there's a gate right there. So that's probably the one that we'll sneak into. There's a lot of towers in that area. Yeah, we'll position over here. That looks good. And I don't think there's... Anywhere we can hide over here. I mean, should make too much of a difference though. If we're not. hide in these trees, no. Uh, we might be able to hide in this. No. Maybe over here in this. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. This is another thing that I think needs to really be addressed. Um, and I mean, it's really evident in um, well, when you're playing as the uh, the vampire counts. That you shouldn't be able to stack all of these units right on top of one another like this. So I guess it kind of works. I mean, I mean, how many got over? 
Over 400 dudes there on horses, all packed into the same area. So, I don't know. Seems a little, a little extreme. Though it does have its disadvantages, but still, I... I don't think you should be able to pile all the units on top of one another like that, but I, I don't know how you would address it, though, without um, really making the game kind of clunky. Shit, did they... How the fuck did we get it through the door like that? That's weird. Didn't even have to break the door down. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Except for the town center, boys. Didn't take long at all. I don't know if they left the gate open or what. That was weird. Oh, there is a dude back here. Just try and surround him. Oh. Doesn't seem overly interested in what's going on here. <laughs> uh, Jacob says, maybe you should start a new campaign. I can hear from you. You do not enjoy it. Uh, maybe the horde is not for you. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you raise a pretty good point. Uh, um, Ready? But yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, maybe I haven't given it a fair chance as of yet. Um, I'll try I'll try to keep the complaining to a minimum. Of, um, but yeah, I, I mean, part of the reason why I wanted to play this, I want to do a bit of a um, bit of research for for how the hordes work, just kind of in general, uh, so I have a better idea. The enemy's victory point is ours now. All right, just kill this dude. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, like the Mongols, like it should be, it should be a ton of fun playing as the Mongols. You would think, right? But just the uh, the horde mechanics seem somewhat limited. But I, I think Jacob will, will try and try and do what uh, what you recommended is get lots of vassals and see if we can um, see if we can get generate some income that way. And these guys, I, I can't believe they haven't broken yet. Putting up a good fight. I think we should reload and get another charge in, maybe? I feel like having him sur completely surrounded like that should. Yeah, it seems, um... Get moving. Let's see if we can... Ready. Let's go. Pull you guys back out. Oh, there we go. Now they're starting to break. Sort of, but not really. Hold everybody out first. Just keep an eye on. Yeah, these guys are just staying put. The thing is, in Rome 2, you can't do this. In Rome 2, if you, you go for the town center, the the AI will. Um, pull out. The AI will. Will respond. The AI will try and retake the town center. From what I remember, anyway. Uh, Jacob says, "Place Portugal there. You have a clear mission. I uh, would see it's hard, but fun." Yeah, I, I definitely like the mod. Um, definitely has a different feel from from regular Attila. And I mean, I guess the other thing is too. That um, even though we're playing as a horde, we uh, as a horde, we don't we don't necessarily have to play with the horde mechanics. It still gives you the option to uh, settle the settlements as well. I was gonna say, we the timer. There we go. Easy game, easy life. But yeah, we lost quite a few quite a few dudes there in that little little scrum. But yeah, Portugal would be an interesting faction. 
definitely has. But I don't know. The one thing about this mod, though, that makes it a little bit... A little bit grindy is each settlement being a major settlement that you pretty much have to do a siege. Like, ah, man, I, I can't believe how... How little we get from from sacking these settlements and raising them. <laughs> Here I said I was gonna stop complaining. <laughs> there we go, kaboom! I love the the animation and the sound. Such a such an awesome freaking uh, yeah, such an awesome animation for that. This one I probably will auto resolve. I I don't think um yeah, yeah this one should be fine. I don't think we have to worry too much about damage that we're taking, too, because we're going to have to disband some units, I think, in a handful of turns. Yeah, only 1,600 gold. It's not even a, enough for freaking toilet old. paper. Like... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, what can you... Oh, man. Took a fair bit of damage there. For the tribe. Thirsty for battle. A merry meeting. All right. Oh, good day. The road goes ever on and on. These settlements aren't terribly built up, though, either. I got artillery? No. This guy's got artillery. You got room to get there? Yeah. I'll let you do the attack. But yeah, I think, um, I think we'll, we'll head towards Egypt and see if we can maybe vassalize these guys by taking their capital. Though I guess we could. Now we'll keep these two together, I guess. Is there nothing else? Ready for Actually, battle. position on this side. Move out. Surprised that the balance of power isn't higher. bit of damage but nothing too serious through grant that's not too bad warriors all thirsty for battle Should start building some of these up as well. But just give me a second. Figure out which horde we're gonna we're gonna build up. I guess we don't want to destroy too much of their territory though if we're gonna try and make them our vassal. So we've got a long ways to go to get to Cairo. I don't know if we should smash everything along the way, or just skip some of it. Where's our action leader? Lost track of him. Go with battle speed. Uh, that'll be really useful for the uh, the horse archers, so they don't get caught. Especially for these guys, we're probably keeping the guys with armor and then disbanding the guys without. So they do seem to perform quite a bit better. I mean, they are a lot more expensive, but I think it's worth it. Ah, here he is. Uh... 
Okay, maybe move around this way. Would force march him, but we've got building to do here. Let's definitely get that built for you. And then... Start getting these built up here as well. Ready for battle. It's not hugely important which one of the hordes we build it for. for the you guys already moved. Just stay ahead. Scout ahead. No, no, no. Come this way. And you just make sure there's nobody in behind here. Might as well deploy you so you can get a bit of experience. Yeah, that's the one thing about this mod that kind of sucks is that you don't get a lot of um, you don't get a lot of field battles. What resource is that? Sugar. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, it's it's all siege battles, which in total war in general are a little bit lackluster. All right, I think everybody's moved. Got an event message and killed in battle. Okay. Take a look at the family situation. Get a decent amount of influence. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I... Oh, man. Influence costs 20. Let's get his influence over 100 before we divorce her. And I feel like there are better wives out there. This guy, don't worry about him. Alright, yeah, this all looks fine. Diplomacy. Yeah, all of this area got occupied. We we did have defensive alliance with these guys, which I'd be fine with, but uh, they cancelled it. I think because um, they're at war with these guys and they don't like that we uh, we vassalize them. I feel like if you've got a defensive alliance with someone and then you vassalize a faction, then that should cancel the war that, um, that that's going on. But yeah, we'll just uh, make our way down to there see how that goes and then we'll probably and then maybe we can travel by sea to Constantinople Constantinople and then we'll travel by sea to Rome as a, sort of like a roundabout way to uh, approach the campaign I guess high inquisitor says took me so long to get here oh what's up man how are you Who's stream? I was watching someone stream the other day, and you were you were giving them a hard time. I, it must have been. I want to say it was it was either Anesius's or or maybe Dame Offensives, one of their streams. Maybe it was somebody else, but I I don't know. I was just kind of lurking, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're giving them a hard time. Must have been Anesius. I think it was. I think about it. Pretty sure. Uh, Inquisitor says he's doing well. I'm not bad. I'm, you know, just living, living the lockdown life here in Ontario, man. Uh, just uh, good times. Not really, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. Nothing I can really do to change it, unfortunately. We take this siege it out there. The tribe. Over here too. Parking right there. Yeah, where the hell are there? Okay, there's one of their armies, but I'm just like, they're strength rank number one, which means they've got more armies than we do. 
Uh, we've got five full stacks at the moment. So they've got to have more than that. I was just wondering, where the hell are their armies? But our strength ranking is going to take a nosedive here very shortly. Uh, Inquisitor says, well, I'm back from Canada. Ah, oh, cool, cool. How, um, how, how was your, uh, your trip out here? How, how did the, uh, training exercises go? Siege to their hovels. Yeah! Ah, Anisius says, hey, just wanted to say hi. Uh, what's up, man? How are you? <laughs> yeah, I've been watching a bit of your uh, your Waza uh, campaign, Anisius, but I, I've been <laughs> I've been lurking the shadows, I'm feeling uh, feeling a bit antisocial lately. It's been kind of I don't know. <laughs> and Clue says meow. Alright. Um, oh, shit. Okay. We'll raise that. <laughs> KJ says antisocial is my middle name. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, me, like, I personally, like, I am, uh, I would definitely classify myself as more of, um, more of an introvert uh, than uh, than an extrovert, which is sort of, uh, you know, has definitely, you know, uh, trying to become a, a, a YouTuber has definitely uh, required me to step outside of my, my comfort zone for sure. Um, but I mean, it's good. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Go through phases where I need to keep to myself and or and whatnot. Yeah, see these guys? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Come around this way, maybe, I guess. Ready for orders. Anisia says, I'm good, out of town, all fine, bud. I hope you enjoy it. I do understand it with uh, all that's going on. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's a crazy, crazy time. I, I can't wait till we get through this, um, this whole pandemic and just uh, put it behind us. Yeah, I don't know. Say la vie. Life. I don't know. <laughs> Clue says, I eat antisocial for, for breakfast. Uh, High Inquisitor says, you Canadians are good soldiers. Yeah, I've, I, I've heard that about our soldiers. I mean, we don't have, you know, we don't have a lot of them. But uh, I've heard that the, the Canadians, most of them are pretty good soldiers. Um, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have joined the army. I mean, I guess it's not too late, though. I mean, time is time is kind of against me, but yeah. Can't follow you guys. How much longer do we have for our little? Oh man, only three more turns. Our income is gonna go through the roof. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. And we were a little bit glitched out there for a second. Alright, that army's good. Or that horde is good. Uh, might as well get these built up, I guess. Though... So... Maybe we should wait. Ah, no. We'll... I mean, it would be good to be able to recruit ballistas in all of the hordes. So, actually, maybe this will be more important. Them, everybody leveled up to level 2, if we can. And we might as well get that built as well, since we can afford it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to smash everything, because if we vassalize them, we want to still earn some money, right? I don't know if we smash all of their territory. I think that's going to be advantageous. We'll come down this way. Head to Cairo. Uh, Anisius says YouTubing is a good learning tool. Um, 
Uh, High Inquisitor says, uh, so bacon, eh? <laughs> With some pancakes and syrup, eh? Oh, fuck yeah, why not, man? And so, my, my favorite is the, uh, the beans. Beans in maple syrup? Oh, man, so good. Anicia <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, uh, says, you still can't, man. Uh, how are you, estimatedly, as you tend to avoid that question? <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm in the middle age range, so I mean it's kind of you know getting to that point where yeah I think I've more or less missed the uh, missed the boat with the uh, being a, a soldier army boy, but definitely I, I think definitely is. I mean I I've got. What am I trying? What the hell am I trying to say? I've got different viewpoints on it. Like, I mean, part of me, you know, like when I was younger, I almost went to the. I I, I had applied. Like when I was going to school, I was going to high school. Uh, my whole plan was to join the uh, uh, go to school at the the military college, uh, which at the time it was you know the the army paid for your schooling and then after you finished your degree um, they would um, they would put you to work right away in the army so my, my thinking was you know I'll, I'll get to study what I want to study and then it, when I finish um, I'll, I'll be working right away I don't have to worry about finding a job I'll be working right away and on top of that too they, they actually paid you um, Paid you like a, a small salary, and your room and board was all taken care of as well. So, it seemed like a really, really great idea. But what deterred me in the end was that they're really preparing you for a lifetime in the military, and for whatever reason, that just sort of. I was at at the time of the age. I mean, I, mean, I was only eighteen at the time, and I was really reluctant to. Um, sign up for that um and, and commit to that kind of thing so instead i, I decided to go to school and uh ended up going to a private school uh to study uh, which was more expensive than than the universities and ended up taking out a bunch of loans and stuff and <laughs> and yeah i definitely think i made the wrong decision um but yeah that that's the thing i mean um Military, it's going to provide you structure. You're going to learn so much, so many life lessons and things like that. But at the same time, I, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be in a combat situation. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know that I could, uh, well met. What do you wish could really kill another person. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, it's, I don't know. That's, that's... I mean, I, I talked to a guy, a guy who was in the Canadian Army once, and um, we had this discussion. It was it just at like a bar or something, but he was saying, he's like, honestly, if, you know, when you're in that situation, and it's you and the enemy, it's, it's you or the enemy. Either you, you know, make the kill, or he's, he's going to make the kill. So it's a life or death type situation. So when you're faced with it, it's a different sort of thing. But at the same time, like, I, you know... Taking another person's life, I, I feel like, is a, uh, a really, um, you know, a really tough thing to, uh, for, you know, anyone to do, uh, whether it's a combat situation or whatever. And Inquisitor says, uh, beans and maple syrup. <laughs> Uh, Inquisitor can judge that. Uh, judge what? I'm good at that. Uh, if someone closing on to the age of 40 can still join the army. Um, High Inquisitor says, you can only serve up to 45 over here, so I think it, it'll be similar in Canada. So five years still. Not worth it. Yeah, stay out of the army. Yeah, no, it's, it's like I said, it's probably uh, it's definitely too late. Though, I, I mean, I could always lie about my age, right? You know? <laughs> Forge a birth certificate or something. Not that I would ever endorse something crazy like that, but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, no, I. Uh, 
I keep doing what I'm doing for now. And hoping to transition to doing some some other stuff online. Things like that, doing some uh Some, uh, some things related to writing, whether it's uh, editing or things like that, um, I, I wouldn't mind. Trying some different things. But yeah, like Anisius was saying earlier, the YouTube is, is definitely a good learning experience. And I've le learned a ton of stuff since I started doing this. But I mean, there's so much more to learn and so much more to do. So I don't know. Uh, what would you have of me? Uh, Jacob says, no, go to the armory. It will give you a lot. Uh, Anisia says, there are so many things you can do instead. Uh, mope about times past. Yes, no, that's exactly it. Uh, probably best not to mope about times past, for sure. For sure. But yeah, I, I mean, there's... My Lord wishes uh, I still to want peace. On your uh, people. But... Accept it as I still a want to move towards French. the capital. I'm tempted to take the piece because, uh, I mean, 5,000 gold is not bad, but. But yeah, I've actually, you know, because I have to move next month, I've been thinking a little bit about moving back to Nova Scotia. And I've been applying for some jobs there, uh, to be honest. And some of them, there's uh, it's a gaming studio there, uh, just. It's actually in my hometown. Um, they they do a lot of the... Um, they work with 2K Sports. Sort of like one of the studios for 2K Sports. And they're, they've been hiring uh, uh, QA testers. Which, um, yeah, I'd be totally interested in doing something like that. But, I don't know. I don't know if that would ruin video games for me. You know, when you're put in a situation where you got to, you know play the same game over and over again or even like you might have to play like the same part of a game over and over and over again I, I feel like it's got the potential to ruin video games for you uh, I would just come down here disrupt the settlement just to get her a little bit of experience Uh, High Inquisitor says, good for body and soul. Uh, most definitely. Uh, Nisia says, I am out. I hope you have a fun stream. I just wanted to say hi. I'll visit you in a year or two if you're in Nova Scotia. Oh, planning uh, planning a trip out there or uh, planning to move out there? It's a uh, oh, man, a, a beautiful part of Canada. And just, uh, I don't know. The people are just, I don't know. Bring me a lot friendlier uh, than they are up here in uh, Ontario. <laughs> Anisia says, yeah, it'll be fine. You love them or you hate it. Uh, one way to, only one way to find out. Yeah, no, that is, uh, that is a very good point. Very good point. Yeah, we don't really need to fight these. Hopefully we can get some field battles in. Doesn't seem like a whole lot of fun. A lot of armies out here to contest us. Ah, uh, Anisia says a trip to see my family with my aunt. Ah, cool, man. Yeah, no, definitely. If, uh, if you're out there, and uh, yeah, if I'm there too, uh, come out to visit. Um, I'd definitely uh, love to meet up. I'll give you a, give you the grand tour. <laughs> All right, go back into park mode. And let's get you guys moving. All right, income from raiding. 24% income from raiding is not too bad, but yeah. I mean, like, Missile units, missile damage. Yeah, I think we want to work towards missile damage here. Unfortunately, this is only for missile infantry, which kind of sucks. Integrity wouldn't be terrible, but we don't seem to need it. Charge bonus probably be really good for these guys. Melee attack and melee defense would be good too. Hmm. 
Uh, Anisia says we only need to stay in touch. Yeah, no, it sounds good, man. We definitely uh, figure it out. But yeah, only two years. Man, it's, I don't know, it's crazy how quickly time goes by. You know, two years, you say two years, it sounds like a long time, but... I don't know. Two years seems like it goes in the blink of an eye. Should be able to sack and raise this one, too. I was wondering if we should just be sacking these settlements and not raising them. As we're, we're working towards vassalizing these guys. All right, Anisius, have a great night, man. I don't know. If anything, I just keep sacking them because I love the animation. <laughs> but yeah, I really feel like for the hordes that when you raise a settlement, it should give you the option to like, you should have like just one, even just one single build slot where you could do, you know, give like a small variety of options. Uh, just so that you can occupy the settlement um, I really think is something that needs to be added for hordes I got no oh, get Jerusalem leave Acker well, we got this guy, this guy can take Acker let them scour before us Besieging settlement. Uh, High Inquisitor says, "Salt the ground." <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I mean when, like, when the Mongols did want to completely ruin a settlement, that that those type of things that uh, torch the city. Yeah, they would really completely annihilate it. But but I mean the thing is like with the uh, oh, there's no uh, there's no defenses here. This is not even a garrison. We'll just sack it. Somebody else must have beat us to it. And we raise it. But yeah, they, I mean, th there were cities that the Mongols, like in China, cities in China, that were key for the Mongols, like for their administration of their empire. Um, there were cities, um, you know, on the on the in the far east. Uh, that linked to sort of the Middle East that were, you know, crucial for uh, for, for trade and, and things like that. Um, and, and then there were, of course, uh, cities that they, they completely burned to the ground and completely razed. But uh, the whole idea or the whole notion that a horde faction doesn't need cities or doesn't, uh, doesn't use cities um, or occupy them, I guess. Um, I just... I don't know, I, I feel like that needs to change in future installments of Total War if the Horde mechanic is going to be viable. Alright, yeah, I guess we can uh, we build that. Let's get everything. And our income is not too... Too bad. Ready for battle. But heaps of uh, integrity. I'm just wondering if we should raise our taxes. Because I think it's... Is it next turn? Yeah, next turn. Our, um, our upkeep cost is going to go through the roof. Uh, Hi, Inquisitor says, I did history in uni. Ah, cool, man. I would love to go back and... Uh, it would be amazing to be able to... Uh, you know go back to school and uh, you know just uh, spend your whole life in, in university taking university courses I mean it's not really feasible time wise but also you know financially it would be expensive to do that but I would love to just continually study history it would be a lot of fun KJ says in some respects all armies were hordes no that's honestly an excellent point Um, yeah, in a lot of ways, all armies were, um, 
we're hordes. Ah, uh, I just wonder what's gonna happen if we call our allies to help. If they're gonna, I knew that was gonna happen. See, here's the thing. Here, like, you want to be involved in the same wars as your allies because it, you know, when when you're fighting at the same enemies, it improves your relations with you. It strengthens your relations with your allies. However when you call your allies to help and give them the option to not add the war you end up you end up losing them which is uh which has happened there Was that our defensive ally, or was that our, um... Fuck me, I think that was one of our, our vassals, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Lost a vassal. Uh, High Inquisitor says, well, learning history uh, constantly isn't the best thing, uh, trust me. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I, you know, uh, the weird thing is I got offered to, uh, to do engineering. Oh, interesting, man. I feel like engineer as an engineer, you're, you're always going to be in high demand. As a historian, <laughs> maybe not as much. Uh, it's crazy how much we kind of, like, ignore the lessons from history that we were sort of doomed to... To repeat them yeah so our income <laughs> we went from plus 10,000 to minus 22,000 a little bit of a difference there a little bit of a difference so I have to start I have to disband some troops 500 this guys cost fuck me sideways these guys are only 200 what I was thinking was to keep all of the um, all of the quality troops. All of these dudes. Get rid of the, uh, the horse archers. For, for the most part. Better get a tip on. You have my sword. The shadows. Yeah, I mean, Cairo friends. doesn't look defended. Wow, what, are, what are they doing down here what, with their armies? What weird. would you have of me? Love and glory. I feel like the AI is at a really big disadvantage in this mod, like because they've changed the the fundamental uh, mechanics of how the um, the game works. That the AI is kind of um, kind of at a pretty big disadvantage. Yeah, we just ought to resolve this. My Inquisitor says history is great to learn. 100%. Uh, I love, love history. It teaches you past and facts uh, you don't care about. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yes, uh, partly, yeah, um, I guess. For the tribe. Ready for battle. I mean, it is... I think it is important to understand where we come from and, um, you know, Try and learn from the mistakes of the past. To try and navigate, um, try and figure out why the world is the way it is. So I guess that's the sort of thing that we're never really going to truly understand. Uh, High Inquisitor says, "But I wish I did engineering." Yeah, no, honestly, I kind of I feel the same way that maybe I should have gone back to school for something a little bit more practical. Alright, let's see what happens when we get rid of most of these dudes. Thirsty for battle. That saved us a bit. We'll get rid of you guys. And we'll get rid of you too. Thirsty for battle! All of these guys. I'm probably gonna get rid of a couple more of um of those units. Fuck me sideways. Just 
Ja. Still got a long ways to go. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. These units are fucking expensive. For the tribe. How can I assist you? For the tribe. Ready for battle. Uh, I'm just wondering if we're even gonna have enough money for uh, one full, full stack here. Ready for orders. And I think, all right, go right up here. Two of them. I think we're gonna have to get rid of all of these dudes. I'd like to keep the archers. Ready for battle. God dang. For the tribe. Still minus eight thousand. We uh we bumped the taxes a bit. God dang. I don't like the fact that it's gonna reduce our horde growth either. Warriors old. Thirsty for battle. Hmm. Ready for orders. The upkeep on these guys, 543. A merry meeting. How can I help? Where's our, uh, all right, you warriors? Oh, shit, missed an army. All right, wondering, wondering what was costing us so much, but still, we're still. Still way over. Ready for battle. All right, let's move you right to here. We need at least one full stack in the field. Move ahead. Let's transfer some of these units over. Ah, right. Destination reached. for battle all right don't want to disband any of these armies though either I'm wondering too hmm should probably start recruiting some more some more generals because even though the general's bodyguard costs us 543 uh, we can make money with the horde it's providing 200 wealth 600. God, it's just not very much money, but wealth breakdown eleven eighty six. That's it, eh? Ready for battle. Mm -hmm. I'm park here for now. Starting out. So, wondering how many more troops we're gonna disband. For battle. I wouldn't mind keeping the artillery for now. See, yep, keep uh, yep, uh, the artillery is pretty cheap. Ready for orders. All right, well, I'll disband you guys. I'll give us enough for Warriors a full stack, and then I guess, fuck. As much as I don't want to. Thousand, two thousand, three thousand. That's still, we're still. Still in the negative. Fuck. Ready for battle. How can I assist you? How Fucking can I hell. assist you? And we've only got one full stack. Might as well upgrade you too. Alright, well. Fuck me sideways. We're gonna have to put the bump the taxes up. Ready for battle! Dang. Deep to you. Well, at least it's not too bad. For the tribe. Ready for battle. Faster, damn you all. 
I need to catch up and transfer these units over. Gathering supplies. Ready for battle. Can we build down here? Probably. I mean, food-wise, we definitely don't really need more food. I guess we're just gonna go with more of the communal communal grounds and just see if we can get some more some more cash coming in. Storyteller's yurt, woodworker's yurt. Probably next one is probably the loot hoard. Income from sacking, looting, and raiding. Probably good. And then this, but it doesn't provide very much wealth. Uh, maybe the, actually, maybe the bartering grounds, the nomadic, um, yeah, this one actually produces a decent amount of wealth, 500. Son of a bitch. How did I, uh... yeah, how did I miss that previously? That's the second most income that generates. Anyway. Yeah, it definitely feels like the horde hordes are a little bit underwhelming or underpowered rather. Just come over here and take a look at what's going on. I am the knife in the dark. Let's make sure there's no army down here. We've got this dude here, but it's not really a threat. Just deploy you. I'll find them. How can I assist you? Uh, Jacob Papa says, uh, you also made a big mistake at the start with taking over that city. Yeah, no, uh, 100%. I, I don't know. That was just a misclick. <laughs> it really set me back. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we've rebounded pretty well because of the, uh, the event that happened. I'm wondering if there's, I wonder if, um, if you can get the event again. I'm not going to be able to keep the taxes this high for too long though because it's going to it's going to negatively affect our integrity over time. Warriors all. For the tribe. Mm, yeah, I mean we definitely want to get some more hordes. Oh, actually I'm wondering if it would be better to How much population surplus do we need? Hmm. Warriors all. I guess we just focus on this for now. Alright, good enough. Keep moving towards Cairo. Maybe hit Alexandra as well. Here. Well, I mean, actually, yeah, there they are. There. I could be All right. Yeah, I don't know where all their all their armies are. I am a sage of the forest. All right, well, we got into the positive. There we go. Things are looking up. I mean, we only had to disband pretty much all of our troops. Shit, the worst part is that we can't replace these guys. Oh, I was just actually wondering. Ready for orders. Which building do we need to... Turk archers. Turkic archers. Yeah, well, I mean... Oh, fire, fire lance infantry? Thomas. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, we only need this one. We probably 
Ooh, you know what? This helps integrity as well. So maybe if we build a few of these, uh, we can get our uh, our integrity up so we can keep the taxes up a bit. Does use food consumption, but we've got heaps of food, so I don't think that's really an issue. Um, yeah, just getting this to level 2 gives us the heavy horse archers. I mean, building it beyond level 2 is not even really necessary. Not No real benefits there. And we could... I, I'm wondering what price the Turkic archers are. Maybe we could get some armies with those. I know it's not... Flavor-wise, theme-wise, it's... It's not as good, but... Uh, those Turkic archers might be cheaper than our... Um, our normal uh, horse archers. Alright, let's transfer this boy there this guy over. We've got a full stack now. On the move, lads. Move out. Uh Jacob says fire lance are not good. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Good to know. I wouldn't expect the the Mongol infantry and stuff to be to be all that good, but it'd just be nice to have a few more options as per uh, what we can do. I was wondering if we should just get rid of these catapult for now. Ooh, we've got access to another agent. Might as well hire another one. Well met. What Shit, I believe these agents actually have an upkeep cost in this. Though, I'd be damned if I know where it is. Pilgrim sandals, alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, ah. Yeah, I mean, if everything goes well down here, if this actually allows us to vassalize these guys, I'm probably just going to park some of these armies down here. And then we'll we'll send our, our faction leader off to uh, to get some work done on his own. Is that all? Jacob says, nope. Uh, Fire Lance, not good. Warriors all! Ready for battle. All right, let's get that built. Well, you know what? The other thing is too. I think depending on what stance you're in, cash-wise, you can make more money or save save money if you're in board growth. Well, ah, uh, wealth plus twenty-five percent from Your all buildings. Command. That's why. Yeah, so staying in this stance actually helps quite a bit with our uh, with our cash King. flow. How can I help? Yeah, I believe what we'll do is tribe. take Cairo. Hopefully, that allows us to uh, vassalize How can I the Sultanate here, and then the uh, we'll just leave a couple armies camped here un until we can afford a second stack. And um, our, our faction leader will send off on I his own, I guess. Now that way we don't have to move as many armies every turn. We'll be a little bit stationary. We won't be so much of a wandering horde as a uh, stationary horde. I am oh, our allies don't seem to be doing the greatest over there. Anyways. Not a big deal. Oh, okay. Uh, Jacob says the no was that they have no upkeep. Uh, the agent. Ah, oh, got you. Yeah, I don't know. For some, I, I, for some reason, I was thinking that they do have the upkeep, but I think you're right. I think you're one hundred percent right. 
I don't know why I was thinking that they've got an upkeep cost. I mean, I know in Warhammer they've got upkeep cost, but... Yeah, it just seemed like when I recruited that agent at my, my, my income, took a dip. Question is, should we hit Alexander for, uh, Alexandria first, or should we just make our way to Cairo? Yeah, see, that's the thing. You'll never be able to raise all the settlements. You definitely need the vassals. I think maybe we'll just bypass Alexandria and come to Cairo. really want to see if this is going to work, if this is going to... ...allow us to vassalize them. Let's just bring the, the couple of the other generals down here so we can get a little bit of extra experience as well for them. Only, only three of them will be able to reinforce, I think. One of these guys has artillery. Which guy? Ready for battle. Should be another easy siege. Just uh, keep doing what we've been doing. It's been effective so far. Oh, well, we've got a bit of artillery this time, so we can bomb them a little bit. Yeah, I'm wondering if the, the Mongol invasion event, if it triggers multiple times, or if it's just the one time, it's just a one-off. That was a nice settlement. It's a little bit bigger than some of the ones that we've, uh, we've hit so far. Like these bigger towers, these bigger towers are much easier to take out than the uh, the smaller ones. Which is kind of a little bit uh, counterintuitive, I guess. I'm not sure which one is which, but let's take a look at the settlement here. All right, victory point here. I think this is probably the best way to do, uh, the best spot to sneak in from. Or we could position over here. Actually, this spot might be a little bit better. Because we should be able to, if we position over here, we can pull their units a little bit further away. Yeah, I think we'll set up in the corner over here. Uh, Jacob says you can only do the factions from the beginning to your vassals. The factions you can start with. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. I don't know. There's the thing is though, like this mod, like a lot of the factions you can start with. I don't know if it's all of them, but like it's a lot. Like the list of factions that you can start with is pretty heavy. I mean, we should... Oh, shit. I, I keep forgetting that the fucking range on these things is so shit. 
it's not even really worth it to, um, to bombard. Stay in the corner here, I think. Warriors ready! Warriors ready! God, I don't know why they changed the, um, why they nerfed the range on these things. Ammunition. Well, it doesn't even tell us the range, but the range is shit. You can only shoot to, yeah, to there. Like, it's not even that much more range than what the, the freaking archers have. Anyway, go position you guys on the opposite side. Uh... Um, yeah, we're gonna go for that. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, position everybody over here. We'll have a little bit of a tougher fight on our hands because um, we've only got a couple of these guys. I guess we could bring um, these dudes in to help out. Oh shit. You just step back over here. Just the other dudes. Alright, yeah. Fuck, why are they moving slow? Useless. Yeah, we'll bring these two in to help out as well, but maybe we'll just wait before we bring them in. We don't want to get them killed. It's more than likely just the one unit over here. Fuck, what are you doing, man? Usually just the general's bodyguard that's in there. I don't know what happens. Sometimes they bug out when you give them the command to attack the gate. Fuck. Gates take forever to get down. It's the only only problem. Let's make sure we're not getting shot at here. Yeah, we could move up and a couple kills in. Yeah, let's move to there. Uh, Jacob says, yes, there is, but for an example, the Jewish states that come in the Turkish land, you cannot uh, get at as vassals. Ah, gotcha. Definitely good to know. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know if it's worth it. This is the thing about Attila, the terrain is a pain in the ass to navigate. I think this tower actually outranges our artillery. So these are catapults. I wonder what um, the ballista, if the ballistas have more range than the catapults. It's too bad we don't have access to the, um, the trebuchets because the trebuchets are actually quite good. Taking a couple casualties here. 35%. Just another 10 minutes there. These are slow. We're on freaking four times speed. <laughs> and look how long it's taking them to get in position. So I don't even know that we can hit the tower. Like, is it even worth it to move up there and shoot those towers? Just don't see the uh, 
I mean, these guys are definitely not going to fall back to the town center, so wearing them down is really not necessary. Just wanted to get a little bit of action in while we wait for them to knock the door down. Uh, it's too bad that we didn't... I don't know what happened in the last siege, but it seemed like they left the door open for us the last time. Uh, yeah, see, we're just out of range. If they move up any further... Move right to there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be within range of the tower. I mean, the towers don't do very much damage, but still. It would be nice to try and get these guys a little bit of experience as well. Because they do perform quite a bit better once they once they start getting that extra experience. You hit the tower from there, you gotta move forward. I think we just outrange it. Yeah, it looks like we just outrange it. 2% damage, my god. Uh, Jacob says you can just rush the gate. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. But yeah, move. Still waiting for them to knock it down, though. Just figure we might as well do something while we... Alright, we're almost through there. Yeah, the artillery is significantly nerfed in this uh, in this mod, which is a pretty big deal because the uh, the fact that all the settlements have walls uh, makes it it's a lot more challenging, I guess. Sort of. I mean, if the sieges were challenging, bring you guys in as well. Uh, where are we going here? Alright, let's get moving, boys. Yeah, we're actually taking a fair bit of damage with these two dudes. Guys, might as well come in and capture this. Guys, make your way around here. We have destroyed the enemy tower! Um, what kind of range does that have? Not too bad. Should be able to avoid that. Keep moving. Keep moving. For fuck's sake. Should be somebody up here. Or maybe not. Alright. Cool. Don't have to fight somebody. The victory point is almost within our grasp. And Let's make your way in here. Let's make sure we're not getting shot by that tower. Alright, there we go. Siege is One done. Of our units has used all its Very easily. Alright guys, I'm going to be right back. While we'll wait for the timer to count down here. Though, so are we even... Man, it's taking them a while to capture it. I'm just going to run to the washroom, guys. I'll be right back. have captured a victory point!
The enemy fort will belong to us. A glorious victory will soon be yours. All right, there we go. Shit, we still managed to loot 31. That's quite a bit, actually. I wonder, it seems like it seemed like those towers were doing more damage than some of the previous towers. Maybe the higher level towers do a bit more damage. Shit. All right, well, I guess we can't vassalize them. We do. We'll sack it and probably raise it. Uh, that's what I was wondering if you need to, if it has to be their last settlement or if you can vassalize a faction by taking their capital. So I guess it has to be their last settlement. So there we go. Kaboom. Take a couple turns to get yes, replenished. Probably don't need these artillery pieces right now. Why can't we disband them? Warriors old. There we go. Ready for orders. I'm honestly hoping we can that the uh, that the ballistas actually have more range. Ooh, I want to see. Okay. All right. So how much is this army? Seventeen. 1797 right now okay i just want to see if we upgrade the tax rate if that counts towards our hoard if that increases increases our uh, our upkeep there no it does not unless it goes into effect next turn but it shouldn't it should it should should show up right away ready for battle that sort of sucks. Oh well. Warriors old. Uh, yeah, just stay parked there for now. Um, workers. Go with. Um, I mean, the bartering grounds grounds would be good, but I think. We'll go with this one, the Storyteller's Yurt. Uh, see if we can get the research rate up. I mean, the research doesn't seem terribly important, but that would be nice to um, I will walk the old tracks. get it at least moving in the right direction. I will walk the old tracks. Yeah, fuck, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do now. Um, I mean, we want to continue fighting with the Sultanate. Regions, they've still got ten regions. What we really should do is pick on some of these smaller factions, take their last settlement, and then that way we can we can vassalize them a little bit more easily. But we can probably we can probably sue for peace, to be perfectly honest, if we want to. The door is oh, open. Oh, maybe to not. All right, never mind. I am here. How many settlements do these guys have? Only three. So maybe we'll come. We'll, we'll keep moving down this way. See if we can vassalize them first, and then, then maybe we'll focus on vassalizing the Ayyubid Sultanate. I do really want to hit the uh, the Roman. Capitals, Constantinople, and uh, and Rome before we finish the campaign, but I, I guess we got plenty of time for that. What you say had better please my ears. All right, well, we'll take peace with the Ulus of of Yoki, Joki. 
at least. So we get out of one of the wars. So just these two factions. Uh, Jacob Hoppe says go to the Holy Roman Empire and get all the stats as vassals. Yeah, you know what? That's a, that's a pretty great idea, actually. Uh, we can't see how many settlements they have. It's a long ways to go, but yeah, that would be... That would be amazing. Though I, I feel like the same sort of thing should be the case with the Ayubid Sultanate, that they should... Wait, no. I guess they don't have any vassals. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I thought they had a bunch of vassals. I guess that's not the case. Alright, let's get an idea. What's going on down here? The shadows are friendless. Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't leave these settlements behind us now because we're going to have to end up backtracking. The, the shitty thing is now, too, that I've only got, only got the one army to be able to do all this with. I'm done. Yeah, Jacob says many. Um, yeah, they they probably got a shit ton of vassals. That would be that would uh, give us a really uh, good boon to our uh, our income as well. But I think first things first. I think I'm gonna head down this way. I think they should have these three settlements down here. Is what I'm guessing. So we'll head down this way, get rid of them, and then maybe we might um, head that way. That's a long way to go, though. We're fucking eons away from them. That's the only problem. And whether or not one army is going to suffice for that remains to be seen as well. What am I trying to look at here? Ah, shit. Lista. So tell us, it doesn't say the range here. Missile damage 105. This, uh, th I mean, that doesn't look to me like a ballista. That looks more like light artillery, medium artillery. Yeah, it looks more like a scorpion. You get eight of them. Doesn't say how much range it has. Fuck me sideways. So it does have flaming shot, which would be kind of useful. Upkeep is only 164. Yeah, I mean we might be able to make use for them, uh, use of them. Uh, it just kind of sucks that we don't have access to the. Um... I'm wondering if we if we actually built settlements, if we would have access to. Trebuchets, yeah, we would. Engineers Workshop, Trebuchet. Yeah, uh, the Trebuchets are actually quite good. Bollocks. That sort of sucks. Sucks that we can't get access to it through um, just as a horde. It's too bad you can't mix and match, like have some cities Ready and still battle. play as a horde. What? Still haven't seen an enemy agent this whole whole campaign. A merry meeting. How can I help? All right. Yeah. Go back into that stance. Warriors all. Yeah, I mean our income isn't terrible, and integrity is okay. We're just affecting the horde growth a little bit. If we bump this back down. 600, yeah, I no, probably should keep it. Want to at least make a little bit of money. I mean, 2,000 per turn is not very much, but at least it's better than nothing. Because the buildings are pretty expensive in this. I think we're good. 
Uh, Jacob says catapult may have the longer range. Yeah, I think it has longer range, or longer range than the um, than the ballista. Uh, by the looks of things, it looks like the ballistas are are more. They're they're sort of like the smaller version of the ballista. What the um, what the Romans called scorpions is what it looks like, rather than the uh, traditional. The friendships of nations are not the same ballistas. as the friendship of men. All right. Yeah, we kind of abandoned our vassal over here, which doesn't seem to be going super well for them. Great Khan will soon end support for your armies, as he expects they will soon they will be able to pay for themselves through revenues from conquered territories. It will then be up to you to maintain this force. Uh, this this is like three turns late. This message right here, end of free upkeep. No shit. Yeah, we, we you know, the, the free up. Keep ended a couple turns ago. Ready for orders. Thirsty for battle. All right, we got a couple armies here. A merry meeting. How can I help? We at war with these guys? No, but they hate us. Improving. Greetings in the name of the state. And can we so not uh, negotiate with the Christian factions? Or is that just uh, I am here, then. son of a Speak bitch? Your words. Looks like we we don't even have um. Be welcome. Or we will gladly listen. I think uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to the diplomacy. Be what welcome, the hell? What the no. hell? Uh oh. Looks like we might be might be a little bit bugged out there. Be bad. Hopefully, that doesn't persist. Uh, make your way back here. Better get a shift on. Just want to scout out some of this, uh, some of this territory. All right, so we got an army out here. We might get a field battle for a change. That would be nice. Nice change of pace. I haven't had a field battle for ages, though. There's a possibility they might just. Back into the settlement. That's it. What are we up against here? Alright, yeah, it doesn't look like we should have too much trouble with this. Just have to be careful of their their archers. Ready for battle. Warriors all. Hmm. Much movement do you have? He's got enough movement to attack them. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna care how tired you are. transfer them over this dude. And use the uh, the movement exploit here. Get moving! And see if we can take them down. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, you know what it is? It's the artillery that's slowing us down. Ready for orders. Come down around here. On the move, lads. Uh, Jacob says it's bugged. I can. Yeah, no, something uh, something weird just happened with the you have my diplomacy. Uh, it's, all, it's on all of them. Well, so I don't I know... I don't know if I need to reboot or what. Or what. Or if it was an event message that's on, but yeah, it's definitely bugged. Um, Thirsty for battle. You uh, take these artillery pieces back, Starting and then out. you should have enough movement. Move out. But I'm just wondering. For yeah, well, maybe bring the bring these guys down just to uh, help support. We shouldn't really need them. And you just move to there. I'm being. I am the destroyer of men. All right. Guys, don't 
stray too far. For the tribe. Thirsty for battle. Bollocks. Ah, that's annoying. On the move, lads. Is now probably going to sit in the settlement here, which means we're going to have to siege them out, though. Mm. Yeah, we do have walls in level two. Ready for battle. Get moving. All right. Well, fuck. Hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I kind of wish I would have kept a couple more of these heavy horse. Warriors all. I think the next thing I want to build, I think I want to save up and build the muster grounds. Hmm. Oh shit, Jacob says, and you can also give the cities you have attacked to your vassals so they become stronger. Son of a bitch, that's, oh man, that's what I should have been doing this whole time. Damn it, I didn't, uh, I didn't actually see that in the options, or I didn't notice that in the options. To be honest, yeah, that's, that would be preferable to raising everything, because I mean, raising everything, it, it just, it's totally freaking useless, like, as the, the AI ends up coming in and scooping them up. Though I'm just wondering if, um, do we have to have, like, do we need to be right next to one of our vassals in order to be able to do that? Like, does it have to be next to one of their borders, or can we just do it, um, Ready for battle. normally? Yeah, we're, we're going to vassalize this faction, hopefully. Everything goes well down here. And then when we move back up we, and start taking these settlements, we can maybe give them over to the to our newly acquired vassal. Our, our vassal over here is getting beat to hell, though. We probably shouldn't have abandoned them. Yep. We're gonna get this message every turn now. Campaign movement. Okay. Before you say anything, God damn. Know that Broke the diplomacy. Yeah, how did I fucking know you were gonna go in there? Well, I mean, that's. That's a siege that's we're not really equipped to do. I think probably the best thing would be to avoid that army for the time being and see if we can draw them out somehow. Warriors all. Ready for battle. We just a Ready for battle. Move around them for the time being. Ready for orders. Ready Might actually leave orders. you up here. Burn it down. Yeah, see, I don't know. A legend of Total War is always talking about this. How that, like, the problem with with raiding, like, if we stay in our encampment stance and get plus twenty five percent wealth, it's actually more money than going into um, raiding stance, which um, <laughs> sort of, you know, makes it kind of pointless to raid. Which guy Ready has the artillery orders. now? Ready for battle. All right. Move out. On the move, lads. Transfer everybody back to the con. Starting out. And. Let's ah oh, shit. Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Yeah, I mean we could fuck, it's a long way down here. God dang, everything is at the freaking distance down here. Get moving! 
yeah, we'll come around this way. I mean, we could still potentially siege this out, but... We'll encamp this turn just to get this guy back to full strength, and then I think we'll just force march down here. How can I assist and let's just keep an eye out if they've got another army. I doubt they have another army. Oh, never mind. They do. Uh, Jacob says you can do it where you want. Uh, it is right in the corner where you can sack or loot. Ah, oh, it's a box. Ah, yeah, you know what? Now that you mention it, I do recall actually seeing that. Um, yeah, no, that's awesome. Thank you um, for that. I appreciate it. We'll definitely start doing that. Uh, I should have been doing that this whole time. I mean, we would be... Our ally would be much stronger at this point. that's all? Thirsty for battle. Ready for battle. Yeah, you just hang out up there for now. Ready for orders. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. I should be saving the growth points. Should probably save up both the growth points now and some some treasury just so we have a little bit of money to fall back on if we need to but i want to especially with for the tribe uh his army well i guess his army his army is already finished technically maybe Thirsty with some of the battle. other armies we start working towards for the tribe um thirsty for battle start working towards getting getting these military buildings unlocked Oh, it is pretty expensive for our growth, but yeah, probably just save the growth and save our income for a little while. Shoot, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to check the agents if we moved all the agents, which obviously I didn't. Uh -huh. Though the danger with moving moving south uh, towards Ethiopia here, it uh, it's allowing the Sultanate to sort of bring all of their armies back. And we we might might get myself cornered down there at the bottom of the map, but I mean at the same time I'm not too worried about the AI, the AI. The AI seems pretty bad in this. <laughs> Though, I mean they do seem to be amassing quite a few armies up there. Look at this shit. Oh, you know what? Fuck. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. 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 Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Yeah, this is really bad. Um. Shit. We're probably going to lose some of these hordes. I I didn't position. We should have just. I should have just kept. I, I don't know. When I was positioning there, I was thinking for some reason that they wouldn't have enough movement to to catch us. But obviously, obviously they do. Um, uh, which means they're going to have enough movement to run us down. Where boats are there reinforcements coming in from? Ha! <laughs> Alexander says, uh, why had my message deleted? Uh, start. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I, I didn't see it there, to be honest. Um, I don't know, that's really weird. Um, I'm just trying to think what we want to do here. Message retracted. What the hell? Uh, yeah, Alexander. I don't know what um, I don't know what caused that. It just uh, it says message retracted. I don't know if you retracted the message or. That's really weird. That's already run curse you.
not entirely sure. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what the plan is here, to be perfectly honest. I was thinking just to probably withdraw. I was kind of hoping that I might be able to do a little bit of damage here. In the meantime. I think these, uh, these Nubian light cavalry are going to be faster than our units. I'm guessing. There's the uh, speed 120, whereas we've got speed 80. Yeah, those guys are going to fuck us up there. Yeah, what I was kind of hoping is that we could get to their archers. But the problem is that they're going to be way faster than we are here. Uh, uh, Alexander says, just sent several messages and they have uh, disappeared in literally uh, since. Yeah, I, I don't know what, um, I don't know what's up with that, man. That's really weird. I... Well, let's see if we can maybe avoid their cavalry and get to their archers. If we could get like, a couple of their archer units, that wouldn't be bad. But I'm just concerned here. I'm going to end up losing these hordes. I'm just gonna withdraw. Fuck it. Uh, it's not worth it. Though, the, he's gonna corner at least one of these armies, which really sucks because it takes forever to build these hordes up. I just hope that they all sort of disperse in different, different directions so that he can't get all of them. I don't know. When, when I moved them over here, I was thinking that because of the movement... Like, my movement was limited because of the because of the river there. I, I didn't consider that the settlement sort of is on both sides of the river. So that's actually Gathering pretty good. Supplies. That's pretty good, too. Retreat, maybe... Retreat. Maybe he doesn't have enough movement to catch us. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Okay. That was really lucky. That was that was really really lucky there. But yeah, Alexander, I don't know the The streaming has been acting up a little bit on on uh on YouTube lately. I don't so I don't know I don't know if that's an issue with uh, with YouTube, but I definitely didn't do anything to um, to get rid of your message. And because you're a moderator, there's no way that um, anyone else could have gotten rid of the message. So uh, the thing is, it must have been something to do with um, with YouTube. Uh, to be honest, like, I don't know. I was hoping to catch him, but I think be able to uh maybe catch this army now on the move, Tune into force march nice thing about the hordes is we can we can take advantage of the movement exploit a little bit so we should be able to catch uh catch these armies down or this army at least Shoot. ready for order Yeah, should still have enough movement to get him. Ready for battle. Just wondering, we might as well bring you to help out. And you're not gonna have enough movement. How much movement do you have? You okay. have further orders. Just make sure we're out get of range moving. of this dude. Ready for orders. Warriors old. Moving. Get on our way! For the tribe! We take 
Ah, oh, shit. No, 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 no. That's not what I want you to do. Fuck's sake. I wanted them to move around this way. But I guess... Shit. I guess the zone of control... I guess I can't pass here. Ah, uh, I've got to go this way. Mm. I can get on force march. Yeah, no. You gotta... Just stay back there for now. Stay out of his range. Ready for battle. Is that all? Don't think there's. Yeah, see, we just raised this, and now they've they've retaken it already. Well met. What do you wish of me? Dreading secrets, paths. But yeah, they've got their their armies over here. Got another force down here. Yeah, these should be undefended, I would think. Seems like a good place to um, set up shop. I was going to bring him to support. We could probably reach there with force march, but I think it'd probably be better to keep him in encampment stance just so we can earn a little bit of extra money this turn. All right, giddy up. Uh, we could definitely auto resolve this, but we haven't had really very many battles. Let's get a fight in, and this desert terrain should work really well for our uh, our horse archer armies. Only thing is, their their cavalry is faster than ours, but ours is a lot lot better lot better equipped. <laughs> All right, you sir, just oh, oh that's hilarious. The uh, deployment zone is outside of the outside of the the map range or the map. Just have you set up back here. Don't think we'll need these units. Just keep them in reserve. First wave lancers! That's already! Get moving! The horse archers should be able to handle this. Just try and overload the one flank over here. Just so we don't have to confront their whole army at once. Motherfuckers charging right into us. Look at this shit. Fucking. Oh, we're taking a couple casualties. And these guys should still be able to hold up fairly well against these light, lightly armored cavalry. Should be shooting here. Take a little bit of damage there. The enemy have rallied their units.
Yeah, don't charge into that. Ooh, if we could kill him, that would be great. Be able to break these guys a lot easier. Well, there's some shots in there. Yeah, the tricky part is their archers are going to outperform our uh, horse archers. Almost got him. The enemy general is dead. Oh shit! I forgot about this guy. I don't know if you'll be able to catch them or not, but might as well try. All right, enemy general is down. Try and isolate those uh, those archers. Let's see if we can get to them. That's it. Let's pull those dudes away. Guys, come around this way. Push them that way. Keep pushing, finish them off. There we go. Let's keep wrapping around them. Yeah, well, once you kill the general in this, it really, their morale really crashes. Like, it's nothing to break them. Yeah, they're not going to catch him, unfortunately. I want to make sure we wipe them out here, though, too. Maybe a couple of you guys come around this way and finish them off. The enemy are losing ground. All right, there we go. Victory! This is your day. It's uh, pretty easy. Let's try it. See if we can run them all down. Shit, got all these guys. All right. Here we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, a little bit of damage in that initial engagement with their um, their cavalry. But their their army is just not really equipped to take us on. Ah! I think I'll take the punishment. Try and keep the boys at full strength. Ready for order. And... Ah, shit. Yeah, if we force march, we can probably get there next turn. Actually, we can't force march because uh, I already used the movement exploit. Just go into encampment stance and. Get a little bit of replenishment. It's not huge, but yeah, helps out. Ready for orders. Yeah, that'll be useful. Thirsty for battle. Ready for battle. All right. Ready for battle. Yeah, he's lagging a bit behind. Okay, we should really have you guys down here to help support the armies. Uh, these assassins have been really useful for getting rid of some of their uh, their generals and whatnot. All 
All right, let's uh, let's divorce him. Influence costs seventeen. Oh, uh, okay. Before we divorce her, let's let's use up her influence, and it should actually be cheaper to. Loyalty, divorce. Oh, we can use her. Actually, we can use her influence to divorce. We can try and gather support, or we just divorce. Yeah, well, we'll just divorce her. I was thinking we'll gather support and then use his influence to divorce her, but just use her influence to divorce, and then next turn we'll we'll seek a new wife for him because. Yeah, she's. I feel like there are better options out there for our uh, faction leader. Ah, uh, Sirak Yilmaz says, uh, hello, my friend. Hey, Sirak, uh, how are you, man? Welcome to the stream. Glad you uh, were able to catch a bit of the stream. I don't know, it has been a little bit. I don't know, I don't want to say boring, but. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just not crazy about playing as uh, as a horde faction. I, I'm trying trying to you know keep an open mind uh, as to the hordes, but yeah, I just feel like the horde mechanics are are just missing a lot of stuff. That it's it seems a lot more fun to play as one of the settled factions. That there are a lot more the faction mechanics and whatnot are a lot more fleshed out. Natural causes. Oh, really? All right. So we've got a got this dude coming out. Uh, we could uh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. We could catch him right now using. Ah, uh, you know what? It's okay. All right. Yeah. You know what? I have an idea. You, sir. Keep moving down this way. This way we should I am the knife. be able to attack down here next turn How as well, I potentially. I could so. be of further help. Well, what I'm thinking is... Let's transfer these units back over to the faction leader. And then he'll be able to catch up to them. For the tribe. Uh, Move out. To be careful of this dude. You have further orders. And then orders you. All. Ready for orders. Oh, I'm just wondering. I, I have a feeling they're not going to stand and fight. I have a feeling battle. they're going to withdraw. We should still be able to catch them. Yeah, looks like it. On the move, lads. Starting out. Get moving. Ready for orders. Get moving. <laughs> Ooh, this one, uh, the bounce of power is a lot closer. Be a bit more of an interesting fight. general over here eh yeah, I don't think we're gonna need the artillery but Oh, 
Position goes back there and stay to protect it. I'm actually going to keep these guys out because it'll be useful to protect against um, against those guys this time around if um, they try and charge into us again. At least we'll have a counter to it. Put you guys on standard shot this time around. Excuse me. All right. Good news. Additional forces have arrived. The enemy has been sighted. Yeah, let's just stay back there. Terrain is a little bit more in their favor this time as well. But I think we can still make it work for us. Seems they're splitting up their force quite a bit, which, which is better for us. time they don't want obviously don't want to um, go into melee with these guys there's their general the generals way in behind he would be really helpful if we could get through to the general first all right that worked out pretty well Suffered really any casualties there. Just stay in behind for now. Yeah, just work on their cavalry first. And then once uh, once we take out their legs, then we can pick the army apart piece by piece. Keep your distance. Shit. Lost a couple of lancers there. It's okay. All right, let's fall back around this way. I wouldn't mind fighting a little bit more out in the open here, other than on these uh, these dunes here. Fuckers caught me again. I didn't... Yeah, I don't think they killed anyone there. Yeah, we gotta be careful of the friendly fire here. That's the only thing. Alright, looking good. Oh, we're right up against the edge of the map here. Alright, easy peasy. Alright, boys. Let's swing around and see if we can come around. 
this way and hit their general and then that whoop Probably the Lancers you guys fall back there for now. Probably won't need the Lancers now. I think we got most of their uh, most of their cavalry. The horse archers should be able to handle the rest of this. Doesn't look like they're gonna let us get in behind there. Send a couple of you back around the other way. Eh, maybe we'll still get around. Just try and stay out of range of their archers. I'd like to get to their general. I don't know, like, I, I don't know what it is with Attila, but sometimes the game, like, it says they're moving fast, but they're not. <laughs> like, I don't know if I, I'm clicking wrong or what, but, like, it definitely seems kind of, um, kind of bugged out. Shit, we're actually running a bit low on ammo. guys anyway. Come on, break. Thank you. Alright, let's pull out of there because they do have some more archers over here. Let's see if we can push these archers away from these guys, maybe. You guys actually distracting them. Dudes. Yeah, I mean, horse archer armies are fun to play these siege battles with. <laughs> uh, Sirak says, you're a legend, bro. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, the AI is kind of, um, I mean, makes it look easy. Uh, the AI is d doesn't put up much of a fight a lot of the time. But yeah, well, I was gonna say that the horse archer armies are fun in these um, these field battles, but uh, the sieges are kind of um, not quite as fun. Yeah, probably would have been better to fight this guy with the uh, use the horse archers. But I just figured since we had him surrounded there, we might as well charge in these dudes. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, taking a fair bit of damage. But there, yeah, there, yeah, there we go. The general has been killed. Good, good, good. Excellent. All right, there we go. They're pretty much all broken. I'll just try and wipe them out, and all of this territory will be ours for the taking. Just don't let them escape. A glorious victory will soon be. Yeah, we took a bit of damage here, but nothing too, um, nothing too much. Too serious. Should be able to, yeah. 
Yeah, I can't follow the shots quite as much in this as, uh... And some of the other Total Wars that the... the tracers don't show up quite as much. It's hard to kind of see the arrows. But yeah, these the, the horse archers with the armor have been performing really, really well. Though so, we really haven't faced too much of a challenge so far. Ready for battle. Actually the cash there wasn't half bad, but I just would rather take the replenishment and try and stay at full strength. So Yeah, so we could potentially hit this settlement next turn. For the tribe. Or we could transfer the troops over and maybe hit this settlement. One of these ones. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're already here, so I guess we might as well Gathering supplies. take that out. Ready for battle. You guys should probably stay close by. I'm gonna send you back up this way. I have things to attend to. I'll take a head home for my children. I will battle through my What? Is the agent activity? I have the Failure. Did level up though, so that's good. Exploit corruption. I think I'm gonna, yeah, sink points into this, and then that way we can put these guys in our in our armies if we want. What do you wish of me? Deep peace to you. I'm gonna just basically use these guys as scouts for now. Keep an eye on things. Thing. Seems pretty good. Okay. Right, we can build the military building there. Ready for battle. But I think. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna go with the. Oh, he's actually in kind of a bit of a dangerous spot because if he's able to hire mercenaries, we could be. Could be in trouble there potentially. But no, I think I'll build another one of these actually. I was going to build the military building, but No, I'd just rather get the income up a little bit more if we can. Warriors all I am the wild rover. I am a sage of the forest. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think things look good. I am here then. Speak. A flapping tongue. Oh, that actually. Without wisdom is. But the uh, diplomacy back in. That's good. Uh, I was bugged out there for a little while. Good to see that it's working again. My lord offers you peace. Oh, we don't want to take peace now that we've basically got them on the run. Yeah, it looks like they did hire some mercenaries there. Or maybe they were able to recruit those troops this turn. Fall back! Hopefully Finding he doesn't have shot. enough movement. Yeah, he doesn't have enough movement to catch us. 
Uh, 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 these guys are military alliance. These guys were our freaking vassal earlier. That's uh, so annoying. Uh, I think I'm actually going to break the alliance here, to be honest. I mean, we're, uh, military alliance. Ah, fuck. Yeah, we'll enter war on their side. Just so it doesn't hurt our reliability. I mean, we're so far separated from them now anyway that it's kind of... I don't know. Uh, Jacob Papa says, we'll go to bed now. Looking forward to the next video. See you soon. All right, Jacob. Uh, thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Assassinate. What? So he tried to, I tried to divorce her. Treachery. Rumor has it that this, this man is plotting, plotting to assassinate a member of your family. There's a little proof, but if you do not act, the consequences will be dire. Alright, I guess we've got a this fucking guy. Prepare. Um... That's weird. I, I thought that, um, I thought for a second that the assassination was because we went to divorce her. But what the hell? Didn't work. Hmm. All right, we'll, we'll gather support and then we'll use We'll divorce. Maybe it didn't work because maybe we have to divorce with him. Maybe that's why. That's weird. I mean, she is actually. We're, we're having kids, which is good. But just her her attributes suck. So that is the only thing. Yeah. So this doesn't help out. I think we'll probably integrity be good. If we can work to legend, that'd be all right as well. Thirsty for battle. I am the Where's their army here? All right. For the tribe. Yeah, just I want to keep this guy down in this area so that we can potentially transfer some troops over if we need to. I don't want to get too close to this army and just stay out of out of reach. For now. But yeah, these guys should be safe down here. And then you, sir, going to attack this. Let them cower before us. You have further orders? What? Ready for battle! Fuck, what the hell? What? We gotta do this guy's got training. Should be able to deploy him. Oh wait, maybe it's Naval's target own army. Naval. Don't get it. Why can't we um, bring him down here? We should be able to put, move him into the army, but it's not. Uh, it's not giving me the option there for some reason. To work then. An eye on stuff up here. What do you wish of me? On the move. I will walk the old track. Just keep tabs on these guys. Hmm, that's weird. Bringing this guy over really changed the uh, the balance of power. I thought we were gonna have to manually resolve this. Uh, 
Oh, maybe I should have. They fucking really took a beating. Ah, here it is. Yeah, so this is what um, Jacob was saying. Gift region to ally. Though, let's let's sack it first. Ready for battle. And then we should be able to gift the region after that. Warriors all. Oh, shit. 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 So if you sack it, you can't gift it after that. <laughs> Fine, alright, we'll just raise it then. Um, the next one, the next settlement will um, we'll gift the region. That, uh, yeah, that sort of sucked. Anyway, it's all good. Um, yeah, go movement speed here. Alright. Yeah, it's not giving me the option to actually put him into the army, which is freaking weird. Do we have another army over here somewhere? One, two, three, four. Do we have a fifth army? Oh, shit. Shit. One of the dudes died. I don't, that, that was actually a couple turns ago, I think. And the fact that... Oh, man. You know what? Alright. We need to keep at least one... Um... We need to keep at least one unit in the army. Otherwise, we'll end up losing these hordes. Um... Because what, what happened, like normally, so one of these generals died of natural causes, right? So normally you would get to replace, uh, pick a replacement general, but because that was the last unit in the army, uh, just the army was disbanded, which means the horde was disbanded, which means we lose all of that freaking uh, horde growth. Unless there's a way... I wonder if reinstating legacy will will give us the horde growth back. For the tribe. Uh, and I have enough population. How much population do we? Ah, oh, it requires ten population. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, use up more influence there than I would have liked. Trade loyal. It's too bad. Can't change their trade over time. We end up using a lot of influence there. Yeah, still gonna divorce her. Uh, where are his stats? Yeah, it just, it's not good for his stats. Minus one cunning, minus one authority. Yeah, we'll divorce her. I. Thirsty for battle. Hmm. I don't care. For the tribe. Which movement? Ready for orders. All right, let's get into position down here. 
like they're recruiting. Ready for battle. Stand right about there. You should Starting still be out. safe. Your next command. For the yeah, we want to get down here before... Before they get too big of a force. Though I mean at the same time that really haven't been too much of a threat for us. For or to us. On the move, lads. For the tribe. Yeah, just keep the agents close by. Well, I want to get these guys replenished before we make a, another siege down here. It shouldn't have auto-resolved that last one, but... Ah, can't change it now. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap things up. I mean, it's been kind of a quiet stream. Has it been a great turnout, to be honest? But I mean, that's that's my fault for uh, disappearing for a couple days. And I, I don't know. I mean, Attila is probably not going to be the most popular uh, campaign on the channel. Um... I don't think he'll have enough movement to follow up, but... Retreat, my warriors! Retreat! And we should be protected by this army now, anyway. And that'll allow us to catch them. But yeah, I think, um, I think we're gonna wrap things up here soon. Actually, maybe after the end turn we'll wrap things up. Because I, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit... I don't know, I've been feeling off the last couple days trying to get my energy levels back up. It's just... It's part of the reason why I haven't been streaming is just I haven't been feeling the greatest, to be perfectly honest. But I want to thank you guys uh, for watching. We will uh, play some more of this tomorrow. It'll be a longer stream tomorrow, whether or not it's a good turnout or not. Because I would like to get a bit more work done in this. And then we'll finish this up on on Friday, hopefully. Play and maybe start something new over the weekend. Or maybe play a little bit of Rome 1 over the weekend. But uh, yeah, anyway guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. And I'll see you soon. Ragnarok uh, signing out for now.